name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Today is the third day of the blessed of months, Abib. And this third day, we celebrate a great celebration, the departure of Saint Cyril or Saint Kralos, the pillar of faith. These saints care about all the churches all over the world. And he saved them from the heresy of Nestorius. Nestorius was a patriarch of the Constantinople. And this patriarch derived from the good faith. And he tried to teach by a strange teachings that Saint Mary is not the mother of God. And he told Saint Mary, we can tell her mother of Jesus, but not mother of Christ. Because she didn't give birth to God himself. Some of people say, wow, well, it's a good idea yes, to convince by this faith. But Saint Cyril stands very fast against these beliefs. And he tried to make a sermon, write a letters for all the churches all over the world. And he teaches them the good teaching that Saint Mary gave birth to the Son of God because his divinity united his humanity in her womb. So the cat is the Son of God actually. But Nestorius said that I have a complaint against the Maggie people who worshiped for Jesus, not for the Son of God. When they ask him, wow, the little Jesus is the Son of God? He said, no, he is Jesus. But during his baptism, the spirit of the Son of God came into him. So like, like he wears a clothes. So Jesus is like the clothes and the Son of God is the person inside the clothes. So they are two, not one. This is what Nestorius said. They are two, Jesus Christ and the Son of God. And they like together, like me and my friend. So when he eat or drink or do anything, he do something for Jesus because he needs that. But when he heals the, the sickness, we can see this is by the Son of God. So he divides Jesus Christ, our God, into two. One for the low things, eating, drinking, doing anything, and one for the high, higher rank, and for the miracles, doing the miracles. That's why when Bob Cyril asked him, tell me, Nostur, what about the cross crucifixion of Jesus? He said, yes. The one who they crucified him is Jesus. But the Son of God did not die on us. He left him for death. So Saint Cyril said that, okay. So the one who sacrificed himself is Jesus. And according to your teaching in Astur, he is one only. So we all human being did not save yet because he saved himself only. But if he's the son of God and his humanity united with his divinity without meaning, without confusion, and without alteration, look to me. So that he is the son of God. When he died as a Jesus only, no. But who, who died on the cross? Our Lord Jesus Christ, the son of God. Not Jesus only. The son of God sacrificed himself because that's why when he united his divinity with humanity, his blood equal infinity. He can cover all the people from Adam to all and to all ages. That's why Bob Cyril tried to defeat the Orthodox faith in the front of all the churches. That's why we celebrate today by his departure, because he's steadfast. But he faced a lot of tribulation, a lot of persecution because he stayed fast. That's why the church put today the gospel of the good shepherd. 
because they refer to that Jesus is the good shepherd, but also he appointed the patriarch like Bob Cyril. He is a good shepherd also because he crucified himself to save his people from the wrong and the false teaching. That's why we considered Bob Cyril and we celebrate Bob Cyril. You understand about that? Huh? Good? Okay. So today, the Bible from St. John chapter 10 talk about what? The good shepherd. So John chapter 10 is the good shepherd. Our Lord Jesus said that, as most assuredly I say to you, he does not enter the sheepfold by door, but climbs out some other way the same is the thief and the robber. So the own shepherd, the shepherd has his own sheep. And he go in the morning and the doorkeeper open his, for him the door. And he called his sheep from the sheepfold, come in. You can't. I have a presentation for you, but I don't know what's happened. There's a signal very weak, so I can't access my, uh, my iPad to the cell phone, to the screens. But we can say that. So he called his shepherd, sheep, come on, go behind me. So he goes, and all the sheep come, follow him. The Lord Jesus Christ present the church is his sheep. Why? Because number one, the sheep unable to defeat themselves against any attack. Number two, the sheep depend fully on the care of their shepherd. They depend also on getting their food, their drinking from the shepherd who leads them. Even in countries that enjoy heavy rainfall, sheep need someone to lead them for a long period to drinking spot. They do not search on their own. They need their shepherd who gives them food, who gives them drink, who gives them the green area to get out and to enjoy it. Exactly what our Lord Jesus Christ did. He sacrificed himself on behalf of his sheep to save them. And today he talked about in this parable, John chapter 10, about the thief. The thief wanted to get, get in and attack attack the sheep and take them and seal them to kill them. This is who is that? This is the thief. This is the servant or any rank of priesthood who lead the flock and lead the congregation into false teaching. He will kill them because they were lost their salvation because they believe in a wrong belief. It's very, very important to believe the right belief. That's why when Saint uh, Cyril, the defender of faith, he put the introduction of the creed, we exalt you. And Saint Athanasius put in the Council of Nicaea, the creed, we believe in one God, God the Father, the Pantocrator. So this is why we repeated every liturgy and every prayer to witness your face in the front of God because this face will save you in the last days. And go to, instead of go to hell, we will go to heaven because of this face. That's why our Orthodox churches all over the world steadfast the faith. So our Lord Jesus said that, to him, the doorkeeper opens and the sheep hear his voice, the voice of the shepherd, and he calls his own sheep by name and he leads them out. So that's why when you are very close to God and when you are live a good living, you can hear the voice of God inside you. So you can say, wow, yeah, this is the Lord told, told me that. No, this is the devil. It's a stranger voice. I will not hear this voice. I will not listen to this voice. That's why when you listen any, to any learning or any teaching or any preaching, you can separate 
no, this is not the word of God. He deceived. This is, this is a false teaching. That's why the false that we don't need to church. A church inside you. Don't go to the church. So when you hear that, no. It is not the voice of the shepherd. This is the voice of the strangers. This is the, not the doorkeeper. The doorkeeper open for the shepherd. That's why the priesthood in the church is the doorkeeper. We open the door to let you as a congregation and as a sheep and as a flock to come in and go enjoy your shepherd. That he said that to him the doorkeeper opens and the sheep hear his voice and he calls on his sheep by name and leads them out. And when he brings out his own sheep, he goes before them. Regularly, the shepherd get behind the sheep and the sheep go and he is behind them but our lord jesus christ he go in the front of the sheep why to protect them from any attack of the thief any attack of the wolves he is the first one who can defeat them and they follow him do you know also beside the sheep don't begin to enter into the sheep, sheep fold, even if they are not pursued the danger and the threatened by the safer pieces, unless the shepherd leads them one by one or two other sheep to enter through the door, then the rest would follow them or behind the sheep. That's why in the book, the Song of Songs, Solomon said that when the bride asked, I want to know where you are, my shepherd. He told her, go in the, in the walk, in the way, follow the sheep. When you follow the sheep, the first one will follow the shepherd. The second one will follow the first one. The third one will follow the first and second one. That's why today, Jesus Christ, the apostles, the saints, the martyrs, the patriarchs, and we are here. We follow this way. That's why every liturgy we read about the biographies of the saints in Synexarium to learn us how to follow the footsteps of the front sheep because they went or they goes behind the shepherd. That he said that when he brings his own sheep, he goes before them and the sheep follow him for they know his voice. And, but will be means follow a stranger because but will flee from him for they do not know the voice of the strangers like I explained before. Jesus said this illustration and this parable to them and he said that I am the door of the sheep. I am the door. It means that you can't go in the sheepfold and you can't go out of this sheepfold to the pasture, green pasture except by me so i am the door i am the only one he opened for you the heaven because i sacrifice myself and open eternal life for you so if you follow me you will go to the heaven if you get into the fold the sheepfold from anywhere you are the thief not the sheep the sheep follow the shepherd into this uh, sheepfold. And Jesus said again, most assuredly I say to you, I am the good shepherd. I am the good shepherd. He said that the thief does not come except to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I have come that they may be have life and they may have it more abundantly. And he said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep and what he did actually he gives his life on the cross because of the sheep the opposite it's correct the sheep sacrifice themselves the shepherd can slay, slay the sheep and eat it but our Lord Jesus Christ sacrifice himself because of his sheep finally he said that the hireling flees because he is the hireling and does not care about the sheep. So this is the thief, and this is the robber, and this is the wolf. Who is the wolf? The wolf is the devil. 
The devil tried to kill and to destroy the sheep. So that's why the devil envy you today because you come to the church. There are a lot of people said that, okay, today is very hot and we need to enjoy air conditioning, enjoy sleeping. But you broke your sleep, you come to the church to enjoy the blessing of God. And actually he will give you a good happiness and the pleasure to fill his presence and dwell in you. That's he said that today I am the good shepherd and I know my sheep and I am known by my own. So they know me and I know them. Like he said today, I know all of you and all of you know me. Finally, he said that, and another sheep I have, which are not of this fold. Wow. So there is two kinds of sheep. Who's this two kinds of sheep? One is the Jews and another is the Gentiles. al Umam wal Yahud. He said that, I have another sheep, I which of not of this fold, them also I must bring. And they will hear my voice and there will be one flock and one shepherd. This is actually today the church. The church, one flock follow one shepherd. And the church has different kinds of sheep. This is sheep from Jew, Jews, Jews sheep. And this is Gentile sheep. sheep. This is the people from Egypt, the people from uh, Iraq, the people from Sudan, the people from United States, the people from Australia, the people from France, all of them are different sheep. The word of God gave them and they accepted the faith and they baptized and now they are one flock to one shepherd. So every week, every day we celebrate the departure of any patriarch, we read these readings. To declare to us what is the attribute, what is the character of the Good Shepherd. So that's our Lord Jesus Christ accept us as a priest to lead the, ch the church and to lead the congregation. That's why when you see the bishop or patriarch, he hold a, yeah, he hold his stack because he declares that he is the shepherd. That's why we said ikiz maraot. Ikiz maraot, it means blessed are who comes in the name of the Lord. Because when we saw, see him, he holding his stick on his hand, we remember that this is a good shepherd like the good shepherd, our Lord Jesus Christ. That's why we celebrate by entering any bishop or a patriarch in the church. We celebrate that he is the shepherd. So we are the sheep and he is the shepherd. We ask our Lord God to keep us, to protect us from any attack of the devil. So that's why please come to the church regularly. Please don't leave the church. Please don't leave the mass and the liturgy because this is a strong, this is your strength. You can't live the good spiritual life without taking a communion. You can't live the good spiritual life without reading the Bible. You can't without praying every day and every time. You have a chance, pray, pray always. This prayer make you very close to God and you, the Holy Spirit inside you inspire you, open your mind to understanding and open your heart to feel and finally help you and empower you to do what God wants you to do. And the glory be to our God forever and ever. Amen.